Time for another tackling unboxing. This time it is the IKS Koraga. Okay, so we have the contents of the package. First is the ship itself, which really isn't too bad actually. I kind of like it. I think it's a cool looking little ship. And then we got the tokens, which consists of a lot of these plasma storm tokens. These have to do with the Badlands mission in the box. Of course, we got your standard movement tokens. Uh, more plasma store more plasma tokens and more of these really cool for use with particular cards tokens and here's the other shields and all the other cool stuff it does in fact have a cloak token good so let's take a look at the cards nothing special there you have captain wharf so three points for a five skill captain that allows you to reroll all of your blank results that's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, here's your photon torpedoes, pretty standard, five damage, uh, convert the battle stations to a critical. Uh, let's see here, we have Kern. Action when attacking this round, gain plus one attack die, and you gain an auxiliary power token. Uh, EM Pulse. I need to notice that these cards are slightly different um, than the ones that came in the starter set. They're not as smooth and not as shiny. The impulse disable this card to target a ship at range of 1 to 2. That target ship rolls one less attack die and one less defense die this round. Yeah. Okay, uh, you're standing clean on Captain. And it comes with another copy of the advanced weapon system. It's the exact same uh, rules that are as the card that comes in the starter set, but uh, with different artwork. And we have Ingarin. Um, so this is the second card unique card with the exact same text. The other one is Drek or something like that. It's four points basically for a battle station. That's a little better because you get a crit in addition to other hits. So he's basically like a four point battle station upgrade for your ship. Um, here are three cards that explain the special mission that comes with it called Patrol the Badlands. Um, those plasma tokens um, get deployed by both sides and they're not very nice for sure. Uh, here's the movement chart for the Cavort. It's not anywhere near as maneuverable as I thought it would be for a smaller ship. Uh, Alexander, this is really cool. Each time your ship is hit, you get to place a Battle Stations token on this card, and during the activation phase, you may take uh, one Battle Stations token off of this and beside your ship. It's not a free action. It's not an action at all. But just uh, you get to take a token off this card and put it on your ship. This is really freaking good because it's not an action. So if you, you do a red maneuver or you run into somebody, you still get you can still take a, you can still get a battle station. I mean, you can't. There's not infinite, and you can only take one battle station for every time you get hit for damage. But so it's not going to last forever. But still, this this is a really good card, especially for three points. It's really good. Uh, here is the name ship, the Karaga. It's Cavort class, and each time you defend while well, cloaked, roll plus one plus one defense die. This is not bad at all. So, and it's five hull and four attack. So it's a little bit not quite as good as a Vorcha or a, a or a Negvar, uh, but that extra defense die is huge. <laughs> and it does have the tech slot, so you can give it the advanced weapon system. And here's, of course, here's your standard uh, cover class ship. So that's what you get with the IKS Karaga. This is my second one of this ship, actually. This is my entry fee for this weekend's OP4 event. Uh, OP, Dominion War OP Month 4. I'm going to be playing a uh, very similar list to what I did last time with uh, dual advanced weapon systems. I'm going to be running the, uh, the Negvar and a Koraga and Picard and Goldicott uh, instead of Cisco. So that's going to be my list. Um, and we'll see how we do. So I'll talk to you guys later.